they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come? Hello everyone and welcome to part 10 of the Single Mom Life LP. Patchy over here is taking care of our plants. That's really nice of you, buddy. And the kids are, of course, off to school. Margot aged up in the last part, so she's a kid now as well and has to go to school like her siblings. So Maisie has all the time in the world to take care of the farm and the animals, but apparently she decided that she wanted to cook instead. What are you making? Buttered chicken. Ooh, okay. Then, oh my god, be careful there. Um... I guess we're gonna wait for her to finish that meal and eat because she's a little bit hungry and then we're gonna take care of the plants and the farms. We also opened our little garden shop, no, a farm shop in front of our lot in the last part. I used the um, Ravachine Celebration mod to make this into our own little shop so Maisie can sell all of her produce and gems and stuff but I wasn't too happy with the way it worked last time so hopefully it works better today. Um, basically you open the shop uh, with this sign, we're get, getting a call. Um, we don't want to be a manager, no. <laughs> But I don't like that it automatically refills the stuff because I want it to be like fresh produce, different stuff every day, that kind of vibe. I'm gonna finish talking and then we're gonna look at the pop-up. Uh, um, and also Maisie was constantly changing into her bathing suit when the store was open. I don't know if it was because of the mod or for some other reason, but I think it was the mod because when I closed the shop she stopped doing that, so... Yeah, we're gonna try again today, so maybe it will work better this time. But we got a pop-up because Noelle wants to invite her classmate Colleen, and of course you can do that. Oh, and Ambrose met someone as well, Estrella. Oh, that's a beautiful name. Um, okay, but Margot didn't want to bring anyone, that's fine, it was her first day. Ooh, Ambrose's grades are up. Ambrose has been working hard and he is now a grade school B student. Great job. Noelle still has a C and of course it was Marco's first day so nothing changed there. But I'm really proud of Ambrose. Where are you buddy? Here you are. Good job. Oh look at them all coming home from school. <laughs> Ambrose is really happy. He got a good grade today but the other two are stinky and in a really bad mood. Or are they all stinky? Noel definitely is super stinky. Oh, and Margot as well. Okay, kids, where are your friends that you brought? Oh, there's Abby. Okay. Um, didn't you say you wanted to bring someone? Maybe they have to get here first. Oh yeah, there is someone. Who are you? You are Estrella. Oh, Ambrose brought you home. Um, Ambrose, you should probably talk to her and stuff. Uh, if you're gonna invite her home, at least be nice to her. I don't know, goof around a little. Enthuse about candy, I think that's something kids do, I guess. And there is Colleen, who Noelle invited over. Again, why don't you just talk to her a little bit and tell a make-believe story, I don't know. And the first thing Margot wants to do is play with her dolls. She's following Patchy upstairs. But girl, you should probably take a bath before you do that or a shower because you're stinky as hell. Go ahead and do that while your siblings are out playing with their friends. I mean, Noelle is really stinky too, but she can take care of that later. Why don't we use the swing set? We've never used this before. Ask to swing with Colleen, because that's your friend that you brought home. I think she's really cute. I already gave her a makeover. She's been to our house before and she had like wild crazy clothes. So I gave her a makeover. So she also has that cottage core vibe and fits in with the rest of our kids. And I think she turned out really cute, if I do say so myself. Colleen is running towards the swings while Noelle is taking her time. Uh, she changed into her hot weather wear and is just going there really, really slowly, but that is okay. No brush. Colleen is already on the swings. Oh, that is so cute. And Noelle finally caught up to her, but she's still really, really smelly. Yippee! So yeah, you can tell. I wanted to take some cute screenshots, but they're um, 
not at the same pace and again Noelle is really stinky oh but she still looks really happy and that's what counts am I right and who knows maybe these two will become besties I don't know they definitely have the potential they're getting their friendship up while they're swinging at least I hope they do so yeah, yeah. Ambrose ditched his friend that he brought Estrella. Oh my god, Patchy! Stop doing that. Um, yeah, he brought home Estrella, but I don't know where she is. To be honest, I can't find her. Oh, also, I gave, um... I changed something. Oh my god, I totally forgot to show you guys. It's been a while. Yeah, but as you guys know, all three siblings shared a room before. And this was our office. And then it was Abby's room while she was staying with us. But since Bongo became a kid, it got really cramped in that room. So now this is the girl's room. This is Noelle's bed. It's still the same. But we have the desk over here that I forgot to add a, add a chair to. So I'm gonna do that in a second. And now that is Margot's bed bed they have a little play area and one of the like creativity tables for the kids and the rest didn't really change and now obviously this is ambrose's room i really like the way he turned out it's very green but i don't know i'm kind of digging it yeah so i kept the desk in this area as it was he just has a toy box now this carpet the green dragon blarfy and of course a bed and on his nightstand he has a picture with his mom from her and Stan's wedding, if you remember that from the Cottage Living LP. I hope you guys like it. Tell me know what you think down below in the comments. Um, but Ambrose, I can't find your friend that you brought. Can you uh, play dolls with... No, she doesn't come up. Did she go home? We didn't get a pop-up for it though. Oh, here she is. Estrella, focus the camera. Oh, she went to the bathroom. Of course, he wanted to give her some privacy. But I want you guys to actually talk. Uh, monkey around I don't know can they do anything else do we have anything to play for the kids not really play in water but they can't do that together together oh now she's embarrassed why I don't know I don't know or oh my god there's pet poop in our house Maisie can you throw that away oh patch is doing it patchy you're an angel and there's a bunny in our home. He's really cute. Um, okay, but what I wanted to do. Can you guys like watch some, some TV together? I don't think so. Do we have to form a group? Actions, form group. Why don't all the kids form a group together? And they can all just watch TV together, I guess. Since, you know, these three are talking right now. But I can see Noelle. And maybe Margo wants to join them. Why not? Uh, Lizzie, you're disgusting. <laughs> Maisie, where are you? <laughs> Clean your pets. Lizzie is always dirty, to be honest. I don't know why. I think she plays around in mud and stuff on the farm. Um, yeah, but Lizzie is always smelly and stinky. Arlo isn't as bad, but she is. Oh my god, for a second. Oh, okay, it's just a fox, but... Um, we jump, you know, like when someone dies. And for a second I got really scared because I didn't know where Noelle was. But it's just a fox. Aww. But the Grim Reaper came. That looks really sad. Sorry, little fox. But you were probably here looking to harass our chickens. So I'm not too sorry for you. Okay, but Patchy's in the kitchen. Can you, like, go away? <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of creeping me out that he just stumps into our house all the time. Now he wants to talk to our kids. I don't know. Oh, are you guys fighting? I hope not. No, El, where are you? Oh, you're taking a shower. But why aren't you with your siblings? Maybe she wanted to take some time for herself. Or maybe she's just embarrassed because she's so smelly. But Maisie, I have some plans for you. First of all, how are the chickens doing? Are they starving? Mm, no, so far they aren't, but why don't you scatter some more feed just in case. Oh, is that a new baby chick? Oh no, we already named it. Okay. Yeah, let's scatter some feed. And I think now that we have three children and no more toddlers, um, 
I think we are ready to add some new oh my god the grim reaper add some new animals to the farm because we have these empty sheds that no one is using and that's just a waste in my opinion so can you like stop talking to the grim reaper I know it must be a really engaging story but oh my god look at the moon coming up or is that the sun going down I think it's the sun going down uh, but that is so pretty okay I hope you are not getting a crush on the grim reaper because ew um let's purchase an animal and i mean we have two sheds so i think we're gonna get one llama and one cow so yeah let's just get a beige llama in this shed ah! i love it when they come out like that cute that is so adorable and um oh look at them so cute i want to take a picture and our chickens are all named after pizza toppings or different kinds of pizza so maybe we should keep the food theme going on with our llama and our future cow okay i just had a little interruption but i'm back now and i can't remember what i was saying but i think i was um thinking about what to name the llama and our chickens are all named after pizza toppings or different kind of pizza so I thought about pasta <laughs> naturally so I'm thinking about different kinds of pasta or like sauces maybe like carbonara I know it's really weird but I'm kind of digging it so let's name our llama carbonara <laughs> love that even the chickens are happy about it and no are you taking another one? Boss, oh no he's leaving right oh my god for a second i got scared there Maisie, say hi to our new llama carbonara please hey um let's feed him oh my god <laughs> He's a little sassy, but I think he likes us. <laughs> Yay. Uh, do you have any treats? Mm, not really. Wait, don't go in yet. Okay. You're okay. Then let's refill the feet. And I also want to fill this one. And I want to get a cow for this one. I don't remember what color our last cow had. It's been a while, but I think we're just going to get a brown one. Show yourself. Aww cutie cute okay and what are we gonna name you Gertrude Polonese hmm, I don't wanna pick one that has meat in it because that's kind of maybe just Napoli it's just tomato sauce that works for now I hope you don't think this is really stupid you probably do but uh, I am stupid so <laughs> okay she doesn't like us so far oh my god let's feed her do you like that no okay she's just eating grass but let's refill her feed as well so she has something to eat for later why are you trying to eat those stones that can't be healthy oh and colina's leaving that's okay then estrella is probably leaving soon as well okay and Maisie's done with that it's raining so you should probably get inside um maybe you can cook a nice family dinner how about that serve dinner let's just make some roast chicken yeah estrella's leaving now as well oh the girls are already in bed no come downstairs i mean you're really hungry anyways we should also fill all the pet bowls so our pets don't have to be hangry um mom is already on it oh he's sending lizzie out why are you thinking about diapers are you like thinking about your childhood because that is really cute i mean he's still a child but you know what i mean oh i also um hung up a new painting well new picture got us an updated family portrait i think it's really cute um we have this one from when it was just stan and Maisie. then this one from when we first had the twins um yeah and now we have this one where margo is in it as well and of course lizzie and arlo but stan unfortunately isn't for obvious reasons um 
yeah oh not smart enough i've been trying to do homework for school but the last few assignments have felt really hard maybe i'm not smart enough to do it what do you think uh, maybe just focus on different topics that you like better i don't know but yeah what i wanted to say is that i love that we've already collected so many pictures in this LP or in this family in general and we have these family portraits over here is a, a picture of Stan and Maisie I think this was one of their first dates uh, this is a picture of Maisie with her mom of the twins when they were little here's a picture of Maisie and, no oh, and Noelle again when she was just a toddler oh I love how they're all chatting in the kitchen watching their mom cook oh, that is so cute but yeah dinner is done um oh i feel like they're all looking up to her so much oh she's such a powerful woman oh my god i don't want to get emotional but that is so cute let's call everyone to the meal no no l you're not going to the toilet and you're not going to bed you're all eating now got it got it okay and maybe you can all sit down and not just stand in front of the chicken we never use this table. Why don't you all sit here? Or can they not sit at it? Please eat at one of the tables. You have this table. We have this table. You can even sit on the couch if you want to. <laughs> I wanted us to have a nice family dinner. Yeah, now you're sitting down. Great, thank you. Thanks for nothing, Maisie. <laughs> I was just praising her. They finish their meal and then go sit at the table. In what world does that make sense? Please explain. Please explain. I would love to know. Okay. Oh, and now they're getting back up. Oh my goodness. Maisie, what are you doing? Oh, you're on the bathroom. But okay. Ambrose, why don't you put the chicken away? And Noel, you can do the dishes. Split up your work and you'll be done quicker. Oh, <laughs> Noel really has to pee. I hope. Uh, she can contain it until she's upstairs. Oh, but Margot already went to bed. That's okay. She's the youngest. She doesn't have to do as much work. We have these older siblings that can do it for her. Uh, Maisie, oh, you're talking to your plants? <laughs> Why? Um, do we have to do anything to them though? Tent garden. Um, no, I don't think so. Okay, then why are you standing in the rain? Go back inside. Oh, you just started doing your homework in the middle of the computer. Okay. But then you should really go to bed because you're super tired. And we have school tomorrow. Oh my god, we have school tomorrow. And it's 1am. Finish your homework and then go to bed. Or just go to bed now. Obviously, you don't want to finish it. Whatever. You're, uh, you're just taking a nap. Why would you just take a nap? You have to pee first of all. And then please go and sleep like properly. Oh, no, I don't want to cheat the time. Um, don't just nap because that's not gonna get you anywhere. You want to do your homework as well? No, you have to go to bed. It's 2 a.m. Almost. Maisie, stop talking to your plants for fucking sake. Why don't you talk to the dogs a little bit? Play with them. I don't want anyone to run away again. Yeah. Oh, that is so cute. Yeah, brush Arlo because he has long hair and otherwise we will have these like hair balls all over the house and give Lizzie some love as well she's already an older dog she's an elder right I think so yeah she's an elder so who knows how long we will have with her until she passes away so give her a nice hug and then you have to take a shower because you stink and then uh, go to bed as well since all of the whole family sleeping oh i gave Maisie some new outfits i forgot to tell you that as well oh i feel so bad um yeah this is one of her new outfits i just thought she should wear um just more mature clothes i will show you the outfit some other time but let's turn off all the lights good morning margo <laughs> margo woke up in a really bad mood um because she's a gloomy sim, in case you don't remember the last part. Um, I randomized her traits a couple of times and um, we stuck with the traits cat lover, gloomy and neat. So yeah, she's not in the best mood today, but her siblings should probably wake up as well. Because um, school starts in a little bit over an hour. So why don't you two just get ready on your own? I think you're old enough. Maisie is still... Oh no, you don't need any more sleep. Um, but it's the lottery today, so why don't we buy a ticket? Uh -huh. Couldn't hurt. Uh -huh. 
purchase lottery ticket i've never won the lottery in all of the years that i've played the sims if you have ever won the lottery let me know um because honestly yeah, i don't know anyone me. who's won a lottery too, i think i think maybe i've seen a couple lps i don't know i don't remember um but yeah i don't think i know anyone who's won the lottery anyways yeah oh my god i already forgot that we got new animals um yeah but she wants to go ahead and smother a carbonara with love do that and oh my god this coop is stinky as hell we'll have to clean that which brings me to another thing i hope the kids are taking care of themselves um <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I got went ahead and got the farmhand mod. I know we're playing with a lot of mods in this LP, well, in all of my LPs, but I love mods so much and they can make the game so much easier and also so much more interesting or even hard, harder sometimes. Um, yeah, but I got the farmhand mod and we can either choose a specific sim, like I could click on any sim and make them a farm mod. A, f a farm hand or we can just hire a service i think so i want to try that um oh hire farm hand service um one time farm hand scheduled farm hand maybe we're just gonna get a one time farm hand to see if we like that specific farm hand if that makes sense um, and then we can make them permanent in real life you have it with a lot of jobs that you get like a tryout day or even like a trying week to see if it works so yeah we're gonna do like a testing day, I guess. Thank you for hiring from the Helping Hands Union. Your farmhand will arrive shortly. Farmhands hired after 5 p.m. Okay, no, it's 7 a.m. So, well, almost 8 a.m. So our farmhand should arrive in a bit. I'm really curious as to who that will be. Maybe we know them, maybe we won't. Oh, I think only NPCs can become farmhands. So we probably don't know them. Uh, okay. But kids, are you ready for school? Well, you're still stinky. Why didn't you wash up? Oh my god. But too late anyways. They're going to school now. Um, no, Ella, you're coming as well. Yeah, you are. Oh, and I just love this farm life so much. Just looking at it with the dogs running around, the rabbits running around, sometimes even patchy. And now we have these bigger animals as well. That makes me so happy. Where is our farm hand? Hmm... I thought they would arrive immediately, but apparently not. I can't see anyone around anyways. So Maisie, I guess for now you have to take care of everything by yourself, but I know that you can do it. Let's clean out the coops. Oh my god, it's almost Noelle's birthday. That means it will also be Ambrose's birthday soon. They will become teenagers. Oh my god, the farmhand is here. Wait, okay, one thing after another. Okay, um, our twins will become teenagers soon. Uh, I thought about getting the preteen mod. It seems to be really amazing. But I want to hear your guys' opinions. Do you want them to become teenagers immediately or should we play with preteens? So that's one life stage between children and teenagers. And oh my god, our farmhand is here. <laughs> he just started taking care of everything immediately. I mean, that's great. But I would like to get to know him. Like, can we just chat with him? cheerful introduction oh my god so much is ha happening musical volunteering ambrose is sitting with his class in assembly when the music teacher asks for a volunteer the teacher is looking right at him but ambrose can see how excited the kid next to him is to go up on stage should ambrose take the chance or send the other kid um ambrose is a real sweetheart like probably the nicest one out of all of our children and then i think he would send the other kid um for example noelle is really self-assured and very confident and i think she would have gone on stage but Ambrose um, sent the other kid. Ambrose nudges his neighbor with an elbow and the kid makes his way to the stage. The poor kid is giving symbols and asked to improvise. What I'm follows is a so noisy, bad. embarrassing yeah, mess that will stay with the boy for years. Yikes. Oh, and we have another pop-up. Oh my god. Mr. Bubble. Another standardized test. Da, da, da. Oh, I had that one with Dustin in the test the LP. And I think Noelle will turn the test in no matter what. I mean, grades in school aren't that important to her. So let's see. Noelle finishes the last few questions correctly and decides to hope for the best. The school likes to brag about its test scores. But how much can one test matter? Unfortunately, the teacher thinks it matters a lot. Oopsie. She assigns extra work for the next month to ensure that Noelle catches up. Oh no, sorry Noel. I guess that one's on me. What harvest fest does, starts tomorrow? What is happening? So much. Okay, but this is the new farmhand again. We just introduced ourselves and he's angry. I hope that's not because of us. 
Um, can we like try to calm him down or something? Um, I don't want to be want him to be rough with our animals or anything. Try to calm him down. Avenue Smishy. Oh, he looks kind of <laughs> creepy. Gelm. Clean. Neat, neat. What's wrong with him? Oh. <laughs> uh, discuss angry mood. I don't know. That didn't help. He didn't like it. Dude, get to know him. Okay, but that went a little bit better. Unpleasant conversation. Well, he's a dog lover. That is good because we have a lot of dogs. I want to know more of his traits. Discuss interest. This is like a job interview, you know? We, we want to know what he's all about. He's still so angry. Try to calm down again. Now it's a well, now. casual discussion, so that is a little bit better, I guess. Yeah. Okay, he seems to be better now. I still want to know more of his traits. Why can't I get to know him? Oh, um, another job offer. No, we don't want to be a dance team captain. We get so much of these every day. It's annoying. But yeah, that is Seji, our new farmhand. Oh my god, she thinks he's attractive. He's a dog lover and we don't know any of his other traits. I kind of want to peekaboo in create a sim. So let's do that to see what he's all about. And I kind of want to get rid of that beard. Maybe I'll give him give him a little bit of a makeover. Cause... Oh my god. Oh my god. Look, well, he does have the country caretaker trait, but he's mean. He's an animal enthusiast. He's jealous. He's a dog lover and he's a kleptomaniac. Um, okay, huh. guys, I don't know, I mean, do we want a mean kleptomaniac around our kids? I think, I mean, it's great that he likes animals and dogs. I don't care about the mean because I don't plan on dating him, but I don't know. Well, I need to give him other eyebrows, sorry, I, mm, mm, I don't know, I, mm, I feel like we need more beards. Like, I want a little bit less than that. But like more than that, do you know what I mean? I guess that will do for now. And I also gave him a skin and maybe you can have like some different clothes. I mean, we only ever see him in his uniform, but maybe just something like that. So he looks more like a farmhand, even when he's not working. Okay, okay but that's Se Seiji, Seiji. Um, let me know what you think of him down below in the comments. Should we hire him permanently? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't feel like um, I want a kleptomaniac mean sim in our home, like where our kids are. Oh, now we're being charged and he's leaving because I went into so, create a yeah. sim. I think so. Maybe we can like have a couple of interviews and then decide for one. One time farmhand. Yeah. Let's call... Yeah, because he's leaving now. Th that's just up us having some interviews, you know? Okay, your ha farmhand will arrive shortly. Then let's just wait. Hopefully it, this time they will come immediately and not after a few hours. Oh, over there. Oh no, that's so sedgy. I don't understand. Maybe we can't have someone over while he's still here. But I mean, he looks kind of cute now that I um, changed his beard and gave him a skin. I don't know, should he stay? And the kids are back from school. Oh, the kids are back from school and Noah has gotten her grades up as well. She's a B student now. Um, nothing's changed with the other ones. And the farmhand is still not here. So I just guess no one will show up today. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap this part up here, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought of Seji and... Um, if we should keep him or if we should keep looking because I personally feel like we should keep looking because you know if it's traits I don't really feel comfortable with him but maybe you have a totally different opinion and you think I'm being dumb so if you think that let me know uh yeah and I hope you guys have a wonderful day bye